Setting up a virtual agent is one thing, but keeping it running and improving it is something else entirely. Here, we're going to jump into some ways you can keep tabs on your Jira service management virtual agent and look for ways to improve it. Let's jump in. Here I am in Jira service management premium inside a virtual agent. And the first place I'm going to go to check in to see how it's doing is the performance tab. This tab contains high level information about the agent. It doesn't track specific intents. I'll dig into some information about that in a minute, but instead it's overall, how is this agent doing? And there are some important things here that help me keep an eye on it. First, the total number of conversations this agent has had. How many times has it been engaged across every channel? Next, I can see the percentage of time it was able to assist someone, either matching an intent or providing an Atlassian intelligent answer. This is important because it tells me how frequently the agent is able to find any kind of answer for my customer. If I see this number start to dip or if I feel like it's too low, it's a very good indication that I need to go in and update my intents or examine my confluence information to make sure it's properly categorized, has good keywords and has good labels. Next, I can see the percentage of conversations that the agent was able to resolve. This means that the agent followed a flow and got to its resolve step, or it gave an AI answer that the customer liked. This gives me a good indication of how often is the agent actually deflecting what would have been a ticket. This means that the agent gave the customer something that the customer was happy with, and we don't have to file a ticket for a human agent to follow up on. So improving this percentage to me is very important because it means that that customer won't put a ticket in and my human agents won't have to deal with it because there won't be a ticket. Next, I have my customer satisfaction score. I like to keep an eye on this just to see how it's moving. If I see it trending down, I know I might need to go in and tweak the agent a bit. This could indicate it's not giving good information, or it could indicate I have to update the verbiage in the flow. Maybe folks don't like how it's describing something or it's missing critical information. Regardless, this is something to keep an eye on just like you would for a human agent. Next, I have the percentage of tickets that were resolved through Atlassian Intelligence. If you don't have Atlassian Intelligence connected to your agent, this will be zero or blank. But if you do, this is a good indication of the agent being able to reach out into Confluence to find a good answer. Now, if it matches an intent, it won't also go into Atlassian Intelligence. So I like this number because it's telling me what things did the agent catch that I haven't explicitly told it about. Now, this does require me to make sure that my Confluence is structured and set up properly. It has to have good keywords. It has to have labels so the agent can find it using the Atlassian Intelligence product. So if I see this number starting to dip or starting to rise, I go and investigate and see what conversations are triggering it. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Next, we have the percentage of conversations that were matched. This means the agent found an intent that matched what the customer was talking about. And it doesn't just mean the agent served it up. It means the customer confirms that that is the appropriate intent. You'll notice this is different than assisted. Assisted includes Atlassian intelligence, whereas matched is just what matches my intents. This is an important number because it tells me how well I've built out intents and training phrases. If I see this start to drop or if this feels low, we should go in and examine what the training phrases are and update them to match what people are actually asking. So this is our performance screen. It gives me great information about the agent overall, but I can also dig into specific intents and flows. To do that, I just need to open up intents and I'll see things like the total number of conversations, the match percentage, how many were resolved with this intent, any CSAT, and then it's status. Now, a intent can have two statuses. It's either in testing where customers won't see it or it's live and customers can interact with it. I can also choose to delete the intent from here, but really what I'm interested in are the numbers in the middle. How many conversations have triggered the hardware request intent? And what percentage of those are properly matched when the customer says, yes, that is the intent I want. You'll notice that the total number of conversations here does not add up to the total number we saw in performance. And this is because not every conversation will be matched to an intent. And this is why it's important to have Atlassian intelligence turned on because this allows the agent to go search for something if it can't match a specific intent. It's also possible if you have Atlassian intelligence turned on that it just can't find anything. So there's a conversation with nothing connected to it. This will be something you'll want to investigate and determine if you want to add to a current intent or create a new one. 
Resolve tells me the percentage of these conversations that the agent was able to resolve or get to its resolve step. Personally, I like this to be a little bit higher than just one third, but honestly, any number of tickets that I can deflect, have the agent answer and have the customer agree is correct is a win for me. And of course, I can see the CSAT by individual intent. So it might be possible that one intent is doing very well and another one is tanking my numbers. I'm going to want to go investigate specific conversations to see why. And this is where the conversations menu is important. This is the last set of metrics we can see to understand how our agent is doing. Here I can see every conversation the agent has had within a certain time frame. I can also filter by different things. For example, the action taken. Maybe it was matched or maybe it was not assisted. What was the resolution? What kind of CSAT and what channel did it come in? This allows me to dig into specific types of conversations. For example, if a certain intent isn't doing well, I might go and look at all of the matched items to see if I can figure out why it might be running into trouble. Or I can also look and see this AI answer was provided. However, it was still escalated. So this suggests that I need to go update Confluence or look at this ticket or escalation to see why the customer didn't think that the answer provided was good enough. So taking time to dig in and understand these conversations is important. It gives me very good information about the health of my agent and also lets me see firsthand what kinds of things are coming in to that agent from my customers. Now, all of those numbers are great pieces of feedback to improve my agent. They'll help guide me down a path of discovering what my customers need and how I can better support them. Having that agent be my front line helps save my team a lot of time and trouble, answering very low level things or doing very common tasks or creating tickets. So I really want to make sure that that agent is best equipped. And the way I do that is by reviewing the performance, the conversations and the specific intents. So there you have it. Those are the metrics we have in our JSM virtual agents. I'm curious to hear though, what kind of metrics do you look for when you're managing your help desk? Share down in the comments so others can see how they can improve or what they should look for. Make sure you're taking time to dig into your virtual agents and make sure you're supporting them almost as much as your human agents. They will save you a lot of trouble as time goes by. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one of these soon. 